One day after being sworn into a final term as governor, Jerry Brown, a chief executive who tends to disdain the trappings of political ceremony, came to this Central Valley city on Tuesday for a decidedly ceremonial groundbreaking for his Los Angeles to San Francisco high-speed train, a defiant and defining act for Mr. Brown as he enters his final stretch in public life. It was as much an act of political symbolism as anything else. The actual project being celebrated is the start of a mere 29-mile stretch of railway that will run from Madra to Fresno, which is more than three hours by car from Los Angeles and San Francisco. Mr. Brown, a Democrat, has identified just $14 billion of funding for the $67 billion project, which he hopes will be a 520-mile train line by 2029. Some fairly critical matters, such as acquiring some of the land to build the track, remain on his to-do list. A host of heavyweight Republicans have lined up to try to kill a project, which they view as wasteful. And it was not exactly clear what the event was, ground was actually broken a few months ago, as clearing of the land began. The best guess now is that the first trains will not begin running until 2022. As a result, Mr. Brown and the dignitaries who came here to mark this occasion, whatever it was, ended the hour-long ceremony by marching over and affixing their signatures to a pile of rail tracks and ties, new and old, as cameras clicked away. Yet as a jaunty Mr. Brown marked the occasion, talking about his love of trains the history of public opposition for big projects like this one and the hopes that he, at 76, will live to see the fruits of his advocacy, it felt as if this was a turning point for a train that is promised to whisk people from Los Angeles to San Francisco in less than three hours. The state has won most of the major court challenges and identified a source of long-term funding, fees from the state's cap and trade program.